Thompson. Larson's through the middle, he goes for goal. Oh, what a great effort! What a super goal! Alan Thompson. Magnificent strike from the former Newcastle and Bolton and Aston Villa player. A league champion with Celtic. And that was the mark of a champion. Once again, Jonathan Nolan closing them down. He's surely 35 yards out there, but what a sweet strike. Robinson in goal gets across there. But there's no way in the world he's going to stop that. The power and direction is absolutely fantastic into the corner of the net. But once again, you've got to question the defensive play of Leeds. No one comes to close them down. Paul Robinson's waited all year for a slice of first team action and then sees one like that crash pass him on 20 minutes from Alan Thompson. Nine goals. for every department of that at the moment. And, you know, from set plays, when you've got the likes of Mial being bold, they're coming up with Hartson in there. They've got maybe a little the height advantage as well. Guppy's corner kick. Larson with a flick, 2-0. That's what England have to fear in the World Cup this summer in Japan and Korea. Henrik Larsson, a man who has 157 goals for Celtic in 206 games, and a man who will strike fear into the hearts of England supporters. Once again, it's that man. We've seen that many times for Celtic, haven't we? But this is all about the delivery from Steve Guppy. Fantastic ball in. Alan Smith is the closest man to Henrik Larsson, but Larsson just gets away in front of him. Fabulous header and Robinson in the goal, no chance. Just look there though, Jonathan, no one on the near post. Maybe, just maybe, if they had someone there, Leeds, he might have got the ball away. Tickley's playing incredibly well, but much more concerning for, for England is the fact that Henry Larson's getting space all the time against Ferdinand. Now, please get the crossing towards Keane. Dummies it, great strike, Lee Bowyer! in this Gary Kelly testimonial match. Fabulous goal from Boyer, wasn't it? We've seen that many occasions from this young man. Always looking to get into the box. That's what's said about the need players in the box there. The three players in the box. Robbie Keane lets it go, and it's a sweet left foot strike from Lee Boyer, and Brad Douglas in the goal had absolutely no chance with this effort. The way he keeps it down, that takes great technical skill, that. Good pullback from Jason Wilcox, and there's Lee Boyer getting his head over the ball, keeping it down, and the goalkeeper had no chance at all with that one. Good dummy as well by Robbie And this is Mielby. McNamara looks for Hartson. Oh, he took it early, that's a splendid effort, and that's a terrific goal! John Hartson, what a deft finish, and what a lovely goal! What a run in the first place. You know, he's going between. I don't think he had the pace to get away from him. I've got to say, from Dominic Matteo and Danny Mills, but he's going between the two of them. And you've got to see when the opportunity came his way, he didn't disappoint. It's a lovely ball from McNamara over the top. Gets in behind him, sees that the goalkeeper's off his line. It's a fantastic effort. Robinson scrambling back, can't get to it. And it's no more than Hartson deserves it. He's, yeah, he's impressed me. His work rate's been excellent. He's put the Leeds defenders under pressure, that was a good run, and it was a terrific finish from John. He has so many critics, John Hartson, but from the minute he left Arsenal, and when he left Arsenal he was only 22, he scored a goal every other game wherever he's been. Other substitutions, Henrik Larsson and Hartson the goals. Back on, obviously when the opportunities have been there, they've taken them. Celtic with their fourth corner kick of the game. Maloney's in at the near post. There's Balda, there's Maloney, off Robinson, and scoops in, and Celtic have a fourth. And it's one of the new generation who gets on the score sheet. I did say earlier, Jonathan, that uh, I think Leeds would struggle with the, the height that Celtic have got. Once again, Balda, who scored a goal against Rangers in the Scottish Cup final the weekend. Here, just shows his strength. Powers back around the way. Robinson does well initially, but look how many yellow shirts are in and around the goalkeeper there. And it's obvious that one of them are going to be able to put the ball in the back of the net. Young Maloney, and look at the enjoyment when he put the ball in the back of the net for Celtic. 4 1 to Celtic, and Sean Maloney gets the goal. But at last, Leeds United have got something to cheer about. Lucas Ram
Academy has returned to first team action.